We're here today um, at our post-observation conference. I've got uh, Miss Pohl, Grace Pohl with me. And um, I just wanted to start the um, post-conference with just kind of a script of what I saw in class. Uh, it's an 80-minute class. I've got two pages here, so it's uh, quite long, but I'll try to get through it kind of quick. Um, first, when I came in, you had changed seats, so the kids had to find their seats. Um, you started taking attendance. Uh, but there, it was homecoming week and there was only about 12 or 13 <laughs> kids here. Um, uh, they started to work on a warm-up. Uh, you gave the you know, hands up, you know, one, two, three, four, five, how much more time you need. Um, I did see you walk around and ask a kid to put his hoodie down, which I thought was uh, pretty important for respect. I know that in another class that I came to observe, you asked them where their IDs were, so that was uh, pretty good. Um, Shane goes up. Uh, and corrects the warm-up, uh, and then you had to ask for another student to volunteer, and Lexi finally consented and came up and did some work. Um, she, uh, Miss Pohl then showed some uh, warm-up exemplars, which I think was uh, excellent, uh, pointing out the good and the bad, and the ugly sometimes. Um, uh, Miss Pohl then um, did a quick write on fear, and the kids worked pretty diligently on that. Um, that was then going to lead up into the future activities. Um, I saw a system for going to the bathroom, signing out, and did they, it was the book, the, the past? Yeah, it was the past. <laughs> I'm like, what do they keep taking the book for? <laughs> um, so that was good. Um, you continually you know, walk around and monitor students. Um, then I did put some questions in there. How much time for writing? Uh, could remind students what a quick write looks like. Uh, put up a timer and try to stick to it, walk around, comment on writing. Um, but you were monitoring the entire time, which I think was great. Um, the quick write ends. Um, then you had everyone uh, with a uh, picture on the overhead, which was a lot of planning, and, and I don't even know how you do that, so I think that's pretty good. <laughs> um, for groupings, and then they, uh, they got into their groups, and from that point they discussed their fear of paper. Um, and you walked around and, and monitored that. Um, then uh, six to eight minutes of sharing. Um, once, uh, oh, I, I'm sorry, after that they got into uh, a different group. Is that where I'm at? Um, down at the bottom. Mia speaks up. Oh, she talks about fear will either motivate you or uh, cause you to do, not to do something. Um, and then you started to discuss Aristotle and Logos, Pathos, and Ethos. Um, which at first I thought was kind of high, but the kids really got it once they got into the groups. Um, I think you have a pretty good routine or uh, where you say, if you can see me, raise your hand, or, you know, five, four, three, two, one with your hand. I think those are all good strategies. Uh, once in groups, uh, you instructed them to take out their American Beginnings packet. Um, uh, a suggestion that I had is, um, is try to give all the instructions at once because then once they got in there, then they were kind of squirrely once they got into their new groups. Um, <laughs> Mia reads out loud, uh, and, and I did like how you called people out to read out loud in class, and, and, and I think that was that's pretty beneficial. Um, you uh, underline on the overhead the task that they need to complete once they're in their groups. Um, you walk around and mo um, help motivate groups. There was the one group that was sitting by the window over here that <laughs> needed a little bit more motivation yeah. than others. Uh, one group found a commercial on Sarah McLaughlin, the, the, uh, the dogs, the dogs and yeah. the animal shelter, yeah. With pa uh, pathos and dealing with emotions. Um, I did like the three different groups because that's easy to manage. You can pop from one right. group to the other, and that was great. Um, they start working on posters. Um, then you tried, uh, I, 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 some of my things in here I just wrote, try to incorporate more, more writing, speed up the posters, uh, and we'll, we'll, we can talk about that sure. when we talk about what were uh, some of the good highs and lows of, of, of your lesson. Um, at 9.40, uh, get back to, uh, into your classroom um, seats. There were a few minutes left. You give uh, duties or jobs to students to make sure um, they're all present. Ms. Pohl asks uh, one group if there was a quiz the next class period, uh, how would you do? Um, so trying to get some accountability for the students. Um, Mr. Williams walks in, the security guy, and Bob had walked in earlier, so two disruptions in class. 
which doesn't make class easier. That happens a lot. Yeah. <laughs> um, class was ending and Ms. Pohl started to give a series of instructions. Once again, eyes on me. Um, keep one computer. Um, at that time, I, I kind of knew from being a teacher that the lesson that you had intended was not going to be what you, you weren't going to be able to fulfill it. So you kind of changed it, which I think was great, um, and gave them some different tasks. Um, and near the end of class, you had an exit ticket. So, and is that? Yeah. That's it. That's what happened. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, I felt, though, that it was a pretty successful class. Um, so let's just go through these questions. Um,